Even though I'm not a big gamer, when I saw this in the thrift store, I couldn't resist. 155,000 games on one disc. More fun than ever before. Over 1 million games sold. Claims to be from the makers of the number one game collection, including sports, action, card, racing, arcade, casino, and much more. It's from Viva Media and Select Soft Games. It's a DVD-ROM, and it's rated for everyone. Welcome to Gaming Paradise with something for everyone in 155,000 games. Featuring treasured classics and all new favorites that are fun for the whole family. Addictive fun for every skill level. Endless hours of entertainment. Huge variety of game types to discover. No shareware or freeware. Well, if there's no shareware or freeware, then what's left? Do they really have their own team of programmers programming 155,000 original games to put on this disc? I don't think so. System requirements, Vista XP 2000 ME 98 SE, Pentium 3 700 megahertz or faster, 64 megs of RAM, 10 megabytes minimum free hard disk space, 8 gigabytes for full install. That means if there was actually this number of games on the disk, they would each need to be around 50 kilobytes or smaller in size. And another reason why I don't think this is true is that according to Moby Games, in the entire 40 year history of the PC, there has been only about 65,000 games ever made. And that's including everything from the original 1981 IBM PC DOS games to the latest Windows and Linux games of today. So, yeah, there's definitely not 155,000 games on this disc. But nonetheless, if we open it up, we see it claims to have 10,000 casino games and 20,000 slot games. Also including a six pack of Marvelous Mystery with their own, I guess that's supposed to be Carmen Sandiego kind of character. And this is from 2009. And I like this, do not make illegal copies of this game as if anybody would want to copy this. And here's the system I'm going to try it out on. It's an HP Pavilion DV5000 running Windows XP Media Center Edition. Here's what's on the disk. We have a README file, so let's see what's in that. Then the README file, it claims to have 333,000 games. So they made it and they don't even know how many games are on it. See, the auto run launcher said 155,000 on that. And there's the menu. We have 1,001 Crystal Caverns of Aragra, 1,001 Jewels of the Nile, 10,000 Kakuro Mania, 25,000 Taipei Mahjong, 15,000 games which it doesn't even say what they are, Best Games Hits Volumes 1 to 3, 4,500 Slot Games, 1,001 King Solomon's Lost Mines, 1,001 Dynasty of Egypt, 10,000 Hexagon Mahjong, so even more Mahjong, 10,000 Super Word Games, 30,000 Chess Brain Teasers, 50,000 Sudoku Mania, 3,000 Puzzle Games, and 1,001 Mini Golf Challenge. So I'm going to go with this unlabeled as to what it is, 15,000 games. <laughs> it has its own menu here. I'm going to go with the 2002 games, which doesn't even say what it is. And here's what we have. 2002 Games Championship, Arcade and Action, Card and Casino, Puzzle and Board, Sudoku Games, Sports and More, Word and Brain. And we have 200 Space Out Games. They're cheating by listing different maps of the same game separately. So, like, each level of the game is listed separately. I'll go with the first one here. Alien Ship Shoot. What? Component Flash OCX. I want to... Uh, dependency not correctly registered. So, are these all Flash games? Can I run any of these? No, these, these are all Flash games. I don't even know if I still have an old copy of Flash I could install on this. And you would think it would include it on the disc. Oh, here's something I can run. It's a pinball game, but it ran a command line for some reason. <laughs> Maximizing it didn't really help. Not hearing any sound. How do I do the flippers? So that's a really boring pinball game that I don't seem to have any control over. What else? Tomato Bounce. That's another Flash game. Why did the chicken cross the road? Yeah, these... I gotta try to find a copy of Flash. 
Oh, here's something. Tanks. Are there no sound on any of these? This computer player keeps shooting me the instant I appear on the screen. So that's no fun. What about helicopter? Okay, we have helicopter here. Start in Comic Sans MS. <laughs> well, at least it has sound. Try again. Start. What, what, what am I supposed to do? It just sinks to the ground and the instant I start. Now you have a chance to show the world your skills as a helicopter pilot. Simply avoid the obstacles. Be careful if you forget to ascend, you'll plummet. Controls mouse button to ascend space. So that's like a Flappy Bird kind of game. Yeah, exactly that. It's like a Flappy Bird. It's like a, a helicopter version of Flappy Bird, which is going to wear out my mouse button. <laughs> And just going by the screenshots, it reminds me of those Brazilian games for the Sega Master System that LGR reviewed. The same kind of throwing things around in the kitchen kind of theme here. And here's some version of Solitaire or something that I was able to run. And they all open a command prompt window to run the game. All the ones that are not Flash games. I don't, I don't even know what this is. What am I doing here? <laughs> Sorry, but you lose. I tried another game and it went full screen on me, but it was just a blank screen and it wasn't responding. So look at the task manager here. Look at all these things running, even though it's doing nothing here. I saw on Amazon somebody accused this CD of having a Trojan on it. So needless to say, this computer is not connected to my network right now. And I'm going to run a virus scan on it as soon as I'm done. Here's another full screen game, but this one looks like it's actually working. Although I have, again, no clue what I'm supposed to do here. Just slowly walking along. And now what? What is it, kneeling down? You lose. What, did they pay a 10-year-old to write this game? And honestly, I think a lot of 10-year-olds would be able to write a better game than this. And here's darts. I don't understand how could this be any fun on a computer. When you can just aim it in the middle. <laughs> and how come darts is making my computer CPU fan race like crazy? This should not be that processor intensive. What am I, I'm not allowed to go into the side of the road? What? I made that turn. Here's kid Sudoku. I don't even know how to play regular Sudoku. Sorry, errors found. See, it has Flash Player. So why is it complaining that it can't run the Flash games? And this is reminding me of that Linux video I made because it can open multiple copies of the same error message if I just keep them open. You need to divine number thinked by CPU well, I'm not running this on a ThinkPad, so I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> what is it doing? Moving letters make right word for checking press button. What is this? It's in Russian, whatever it is. Probably makes more sense in that language. Yes, this game is crazy. Is it going to check this word? Okay, that's all it says. Here's the program folder for those 2002 crappy, mostly Flash games it installed. 
2.3 gigabytes that's a lot more than I expected for the kind of quality of those games over 10,000 files in 2600 folders so what does every game have its own subfolder in this thing well it's all these Sudoku puzzles they each have their own folder that's why it's so much so I think this gives you a pretty good idea of what you can expect from this 155,000 game collection. So that's 155,000 games on one disc. I wouldn't even call that shovelware. I'd call that dump truck wear. The internet is not something that you just dump something on. It's not a big truck. It's, it's a series of tubes.